Hi, the catchers. Welcome back to my channel. It is fall. It is fall and it's one of my favorite times of year because I love all the orange and red and yellow tones and more golden-y tones that come out during fall. So I had to bring you guys a sweater weather, pumpkin spice ready glam look. I absolutely am in love with this look. It's so glam but yet wearable at the same time it's just everything and more and it's definitely something that i will be wearing all fall long so if you guys want to see how to get this look how to be basically glam all up in the sweater weather then keep watching so nothing new just going to prime with concealer um, so the palette, it has all the names on the bottom, which I love. So I'll just be able to talk through this. I'm going to start with Culture and Thick mixed together. That is my transition shades with a really large blending brush. And I love this like orange kind of shade in my crease. So pretty. And I tone it down just a little bit with the Culture, which is a more um, lighter brown, medium brown color. And since I want this blown out, I am going to feather it out of my eye a little bit, you know, just right here. You see, kind of make a wing. And we're going to bring the shadow right up to the brow bone, only on this section. Now the fluffy blending brush, I'm going to take Revenge. I'm starting more on the outer V of my eye, bringing it in, and then I will fluff that out. I really like fall. I used to think of, I, I like summer a lot. Winter my, is my birthday month, but fall, it's just that nice in between. Even though um, here in Baltimore, you know, it's been a uh, real brick lately. I don't know who said, oh, let's, you know, make it really fall, but it's really fall. And with an even smaller blending brush, I am taking Played Out, which is a really deep brown. I'm gonna bring it as a wing out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack Played Out there's a wing all over my lid, but I'm going to feather it up and make it really dark on the V. So it's going to like a wing on the V and then I'm going to fill in the middle with this light in, in a lighter way. And then back with the first blending brush, I'm going to take plate out on this because it's going to give me a nice wash of color, a little bit easier than if I were to pack it in with a brush. And I'm just going to blend this into the crease. Ooh, girl. Too bad it's gonna be dark where we're going. We're going bowling. You know, they always turn the lights down when it's nighttime because you need to see this. You need to turn up the lights in here, baby. I'm in love with this, y'all. Y'all, if you try this, let me know. I'm in love with it so much already, and we're not even done. What I'm gonna do is a last piece. I'm gonna just now, as I've blown out the color all over the lid, I'm going to pack it on one last time with a shader brush. I'm gonna line my top lashes then i'm going to do my base and then i will be back with you guys to finish up the rest of the face and by the way while i'm doing my you know foundation routine it's the exact same as what i normally do you can see that whole routine in my sephora recommendations video which look at those recommendations because these sephora vib sales coming up and I, they're really really good recommendations and my routine has not changed so check that out so since I want to keep it really matte, I'm going to use my matte, favorite matte bronzer by ColourPop. It's called Rodeo Drive. I'm actually really here for it, y'all. These eyes, though. Mm. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend. So let's finish up these eyes, then we'll do lips. And I'm going to show you not one, but two lips to go with this look. Because you can do something a little neutral, something a little more spicy, which is what we're going for. But I'll show you two. Going back to played out, really just going to connect the bottom lash line to the top. This was going to give it the more smoked out look. Okay, so we're pretty much done. What I'm, I'm not doing lashes, just because I don't feel like it. But I am going to do this lovely combo for mascara that I've been loving. So first I'm going to prime with the L'Oreal Lash, was it the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Primer. Y'all have seen a million times on my channel. Okay, I'll let that dry for like 10 seconds. And then I love the combo of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's so good. 
and it's so black and dark because I don't really wear any other color mascara, but like super duper jet black. And it's really volumizing and elongating at the same time. I just really like this one. And I like to hold my mirror down just so I can really see what's going on with my lashes. That's what's down here. Here for it. And the last thing on the eyes, I'm going to take Unbothered which is from the same palette right in the crease. It's like an iridescent gold, it's so, so pretty. This will be the only little bit of shimmer that I'm gonna have. And I've been on the hunt for like the perfect like um, teared up pencil and this one I have found is the best. It's by ColourPop, um, I think it's like their small detail brush. I'll link it below, it's so good. I'm gonna do two blushes, I know. It's like, you just said we're heavy on the eyes, we're gonna be heavy on the face too. So first I'm going to put Max Sweetest Cocoa as a blush topper slash contour on top of my bronzer. So I start back by my ear and I bring it forward. And this is such a neutral blush on me that I don't mind packing it on. It has a nice, it's got a nice shimmer too, but it's not really one, so I don't mind it. And it makes me still look pretty matte. It gives me just a little bit more color in my cheeks. And on top of it, I am putting a true matte blush. I'm using Ta from the Juvia's Place to Hair and Blush 2 palette. I'm just gonna use that right on the apples. So we are pretty much done. I'm gonna show you guys the two lip colors of this. So at first I thought like a more nudie, um, like a really nude lip would look good with this. Okay, so for this really nude lip combo, I'm going to use ColourPop's BFF3 lip pencil. It is a dupe um, from MAC Cork, which I do have. I just have it's in the other mouth, like, want to get it. And for the lip, I'm going to use Birthday Suit. It's Kylie Cosmetics Velvet. And it's a really, really light nude. So you saw I'm. But it's so nice and creamy. So this is it with it really blended in. Okay, so to spice it up, we're gonna start out with the what is it? Buxom Buxom Undercover. And I love this color. It's like a deep burnt orange terracotta. So the camera is making it look a lot brighter than it is. It is a little bit deeper than this, but that's cool. I'm gonna kind of combo this. So I'm gonna take back the BFF3 lip liner. And on top of this, I'm going to do Color Rain's Spiked Punch. This is the final look. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all loved it and you are so in the mood to cuddle up in your sweaters and to drink your pumpkin spice lattes. Be basic, this is the time for it. Fall is basic season, this is basics glam. That's what I'm all about this season. So I hope you guys love this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I'm bringing you guys so much more content. I've already got a lot of other content that's already been posted. So if you wanna see more, why not? You might as well watch some videos. I'll leave them right here for you because we all know you wanna watch some more. I would, so there. Thanks again, guys. See you in my next video.